a great topic um, since a lot of us will be outdoors grilling um, and we can get kind of tired of eating the same picnic foods all the time. Um, a hot dog is fun every once in a while, um, but normally by the end of summer, we are done with the same foods. So these ideas are a great um, way to incorporate new options, um, kind of switch up what you're offering um, to your family and friends, um, but also add some really good nutritional value to, to your plate. So um, what we're going to be focusing on today are proteins, condiments, sides, and desserts, and you'll leave with lots of ideas for each category. So first, let's start with some grilling alternatives. So like I said, hamburgers, hot dogs, sausages um, are favorites, but they can get old after a while. So here's some alternatives, and I've highlighted my favorites in yellow. Um, so as you'll see, there are some different seafood options. Um, so like the wild side Norwegian salmon burgers with spinach and feta are delicious. Um, there's also some different sausages. So instead of just Italian and um, hot, nor the normal ones, um, Nature's Promise has some different flavors that are really fun. So as you can see up in the corner, there's a pineapple habanero um a mango barbecue buffalo style basil pesto um, so all different different flavors that you can give a try um, also things like the plant-based burgers are super popular right now too like beyond meat um, veggie burgers um, and there's also an artichoke burger so um, going the route of some seafood to get in more fish um, mixing up your sausages to do different chicken options um, or trying some plant-based could be some different options to mix up your main protein source. Okay, for kebabs, so another way that you could switch up your main entree is offering kebabs, which I love these because they're super easy, fun. You can get the kiddos involved with making them. Um, but they also have so much color because you can just add your veggies or fruits right on there too. So um, as you'll see in the list, there are lots of different options. Um, some have animal protein, some are plant-based, um, but in the Italian si Ital size, what you'll see are some recommendations for marinades and dressings to add a splash of flavor. So some ones that I really like, the first one is the shrimp with red pepper, red onion, and mango. So you have all different colors, um, a little bit of fruit, so some sweet and a little bit of spice with the Taste of Inspiration's Korean mango marinade. Super delicious. Um, another really fun one is doing pork with um, a chunk of corn on the cob, some watermelon, peaches, Brussels sprouts, and then the raspberry mojito dressing. Um, so like you'll see, there's a lot of different textures, colors, and um, different protein options that you can add. Um, so these could be a great center of the plate, but also getting in lots of different colors and textures. Another way to kind of mix up your, your protein option is the blend. And this is from the Mushroom Council. And this is a favorite from the nutritionist because um, what you're doing is taking your ground meat, so ground beef, chicken, turkey, and you're adding chopped mushrooms. So you're going to cut them down to the consistency of a ground meat, so really fine. If you chop and roast them prior, you're going to enhance that flavor. Um, so you could always cook them with a little bit of garlic um, to give it a little bit more boost. You're then going to blend it in with your meat. Um, and then you're going to cook your burger just like you normally would, but it's gonna give it um, a lot of flavor, um, but keep that same texture that we still really love. So this is a great way not only to add volume, um, because if you're adding in mushrooms, you're gonna have double the volume, but also add in a lot more flavor um, and sneak in some mushrooms that no one would really know. So those are some um, protein options. Let's move on to condiments. I think we're 
all familiar with the traditional ketchup mustard relish. Um, these can really just add a lot of flavor um, and kind of mix it up from the traditional. So the first one, and this is one of my absolute favorites, is the giant mango salsa, which you find in produce. This goes really well over chicken or any type of grilled fish. So if you're someone who finds fish to be a little bland, this is a great way to um, add a pop of flavor to it. Um, another way are with hummuses. So I'm a huge buffalo fan, love the tribe buffalo hummus. It's a great condiment for your tortilla chips, your veggies. You could also spread it on um, to any of your protein. Another popu popular one over the summer is the Taste of Inspiration's Pineapple Jalapeno Hummus, um, which again will give you that sweet and spicy, which we love. Guacamole, avocado can be added again to really anything. Um, I love just adding guacamole on top of a burger. I think it just makes it so much yummier. And yogurt-based dressings are really popular right now because not only does it keep that creaminess, but it helps drive down the fat, um, as well as a lot of times the, the calories too. Um, so Bolt House as well as Marie's are some brands that you can look for in the produce section. For sides. So sides I think are where we normally kind of stick with the same options potato salad, macaroni salad, chips, um, a lot of very uh, carby snacks, or sides, sorry, sides. Um, so here's some ways that you can add especially more vegetables to your sides. So the first is a rainbow veggie salad. So this is taking the bonza pasta, which is a chickpea based, but you could use um, really any veggie pasta or um, or legume-based pasta. I like the bonza or a chickpea base because it really gives you the same texture as a regular pasta. We're then just adding the Bolt House cucumber ranch that you see here and any vegetables of choice. And that's what it ends up looking like. Um, you could get pre-cut veggies that you find in the produce section or whatever you have left over at home. Another fun option is the broccoli and blueberry slaw. We're just using a broccoli slaw mix that's already ready to go. Um, some blueberries and apples, so we're getting that nice crunch and sweet pop of flavor. Some sunflower seeds, and then the Marie's yogurt coleslaw dressing that we saw in the previous slide. So mixing that all together. And then the last is a honey mustard potato, potato salad. So we're using cauliflower florets, or you could use cauliflower rice, adding some celery, onion, hard boiled egg, and um, the bolt house, but we're using a honey mustard dressing. And again, just mixing it all together. And what I love about all of these, it's super simple. A lot of these ingredients you probably already have in your kitchen and um, can be thrown together in just a few minutes. Another fun option for sides is to do a build your own pasta salad station. Um, last summer in the stores, I did this as a sample in quite a few stores and it was always so fun and popular because um, number one, it gives people the option of customizing their pasta salad, which everyone loves to do, but it also helps you to think outside of the traditional pasta salad, um, kind of the Italian focused pasta salad. This gives you more options um, and a lot more flavor. So at the top here, you can see all the different options that you could offer and some suggested combos. Um, so I really like the asparagus parmesan chopped red pepper. I think that's a fun one. Um, the cheddar broccoli onion and corn. So um, a lot of different options you could offer, but everyone gets to build what they'll like. So even going back to the previous slide, if you wanted to try um, some different options um, that you would even see here. So maybe you want to offer a broccoli slaw as a base. Maybe you want to do a chickpea pasta as a base. Um, or some rice cauliflower, and then offer some of the different add-ins. Um, so you could even take some of these ideas to create your own pasta salad station there too. And finally for sides, grilled veggies, of course, are super popular, um, but they're so delicious and fresh. Um, you can't really beat grilled asparagus or grilled corn. Um, you can 
absolutely enhance the flavor by using different spices and herbs, um, especially during the summer when we have access to fresh herbs and spices, you can add those on. Even just a drizzle of olive oil will really help to pop that flavor. Um, so you can never go wrong just by grilling some veggies um, and having a rainbow available for everyone to choose from. And lastly, we have some fun desserts um, that you can easily grill. So grilling any type of fruit, such as apple, pineapple, pear, is always a fun option. Um, I personally love grilled peaches. Um, I like to fill them with a mixture of ricotta, cinnamon, and honey. So it's super simple, um, but it has so much flavor with the caramelized sugar. You can also slice and grill watermelon, about 30 seconds on each side. And for all of these, just having a Greek yogurt dip on the side. So something simple like plain Greek yogurt or vanilla mixed with a little bit of honey or cinnamon, um, super simple, but will add a lot of flavor and some protein. A watermelon slushie, so maybe you take that grilled watermelon um, or just regular watermelon, puree it. You have a really simple summertime treat. A fruit pizza. Um, so this is your, when you're grilling your um, either a regular pizza crust or the watermelon slices that we discussed before, kind of like you see up here. Um, and then you're just adding your toppings. So if you're doing a regular pizza crust, you probably are going to add your regular toppings. Um, but for a dessert, even adding um, some yogurts, maybe it's Greek yogurt, regular yogurt, um, other fruits, you could add granola, you could add some sprinkles, um, whatever you like. But that's a really fun way, especially for kids. Um, I love to do it at the 4th of July with um, blueberries, some strawberries, um, and some 4th of July sprinkles. So that could be something to keep in your mind for the next holiday. And then homemade frozen yogurt. Um, so this is just taking your Greek yogurt and any fruit you have, throwing it in a blender, and then freezing it. Um, so really simple, but again, you're getting a nice balance of some good carbohydrates with fiber and some protein. So you'll feel full um, from that dessert too. So hopefully this presentation gave you some new fun um, ideas to help step up your grilling game this weekend and the rest of the summer. Um, I have my email address here if you would have any questions or you want a copy of the presentation. Um, there's also a link to our Eventbrite where you'll find um, all of our other classes for kiddos Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and adults on Tuesdays and Thursdays, as well as our YouTube channel, which has lots of classes that have already been recorded. And I'd also like to thank Lindsay Moran from Connect Care 3, who helped me put together this presentation. So thanks again for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye.